एवरी वन एंड वन सेकेंड वेलकम टू डब्ल्यू एस क्यू टेक इंग्लिश एंड माई सेल्फ उमर तस्कीर कज इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी आर बेसिकली गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द रिपोर्ट्स एंड हाउ कैन वी एक्चुअली प्रिपेयर रिपोर्ट्स फॉर अवर क्लाइंट्स बिकॉज वेन एवर वी टॉक अबाउट द रिपोर्ट्स सो वी कैन प्रिपेयर रिपोर्ट्स फॉर टू डिफरेंट सिचुएशन एंड वन रिपोर्ट कैन बी बेसिकली फॉर अवर इन हाउस टीम वेर वी आर टीम मेम्बर्स इंटरेक्ट विद ईच अदर एंड इन दैट पर्टिकुलर सिनेरियो दीज रिपोर्ट्स ऑल्सो हेल्प अस टू uh evaluate how we are moving and uh, to basically devise a strategy so that we can perform better right apart from this we also need reports to send to clients so that they can see how their campaigns are performing but in that particular report when we uh, when we basically talk about the clients or the client side report we actually do not require many technical matrices or many uh, different matrices which are actually used for the optimization like there are different matrices which we basically study or which we basically see just to just to uh, optimize our campaigns or optimize our ad groups or optimize our ads right those kind of matrices are actually not required because clients only wants end results they only wants to know about the conversions that happen they only wants to know what campaigns are performing they only wants to know something around like cost per conversion or how much they spent what is roi ros so those kind of matrices should be there in in reports which you basically send to your client and apart from that whenever you are interacting within your team or whenever you are presenting something in front of your team or whenever you are studying your reports for the purpose of optimization those reports and the matrices which are there are different right so we have two purposes in this particular video what i am going to tell you is all about the client side right how can we actually prepare a report for the client so that client get convinced that okay uh, this is what we were uh, asking and this is what this report tells us right if we talk about the very basic definition of report in a very layman's language it is basically answers to some questions right so if any kind of questions are coming from your client side then you can answer them in the form of the report right so i have i have a scenario over here like uh, we want to create a report which is like call related campaigns report so if we are running call uh, campaigns then we are going to prepare a report which is like call related campaigns report and then Uh, the question is or what should be there in the report is which campaign which ad group and which ad got the maximum number of phone calls and around this we want to create our uh, report so whenever you will come to this report section over here right whenever you will come to this report section you will see some interface like this i am right now i am not talking about the dashboard over here which is this one we are only going to talk about the report so over here you can see that we have some predefined reports over here like uh, landing page report campaign details related report labels related we have paid and organic report also then we have basic campaign report also so we have different reports quite right? different pre defined reports over here in the form of the templates which is actually not required at this particular moment of time i'm going to teach you how can you actually create a custom report which is which is going to be very useful for you because in most of the cases you will require custom uh, custom report only because so every time you are having a different line and that client would ask you i mean different different questions will be there right so what you have to do is you have to expertise yourself over this uh, custom and then you have different uh, different uh, types of representation graphical representation over here uh, through which you are going to represent your data your information of uh, report right so if you are a new one i will suggest you to start with the table and start practicing table thing over here then only you will be able to create wonderful reports right so let us click on the table first and let us take this only scenario over here that we wanted to create a report which is called related campaign so what i can do is i can write a report and this is demo report and this is basically for the phone call that is what i have written over here now we will click on apply and now what we have to study uh, is basically we are having different uh, matrices and dimensions over here which are basically divided into different groups as you can see level of detail is over here like what you want to keep in your row like campaign you want to study on the basis of campaign so you want to know the number of phone calls that you got according to campaign which campaign gave you the no highest number of phone calls if you want to study something like this you can go along with the campaign if you want to study something like that okay which ad group actually gave us the highest number of phone calls or which or if you want to know that what number of phone calls we got from a respective ad groups then you can go to ad groups so if you want to study anything with respect to ad that is again what you can do if you want to study anything with respect to search uh, keyword that is again you have the option over here you can select this thing and move further but over here what we are going to do is basically which campaign ad group and ad got the maximum number of phone calls right So what we can do is which campaign, which ad group, okay, it is now a over here, which campaign and which ad group and then which ad, right? So let us arrange this thing: campaign, then ad group, 
which campaign, which ad group and which ad got us highest number of uh, like phone calls, right? So we can select phone calls over here and we can bring them over here. So now we have a campaign over here, we have ad groups over here, we have ads over here, we have phone calls over here and this is like all time and apart from this, if we want to apply some filter over here, we can also do that thing, okay, that we want to study only on the basis of some device, okay, so add device preference type is mobile, then we can apply over here, it will be applied, right, because we do not have anything like that, so it is not showing, so let's remove this thing, but we have again, but we have this option of putting filters over here. So you can see which campaign, which ad group, which ad got us, how many phone calls is, is what we are going to see from this particular report, right? Now what we can do is basically we can download this report, we can save this report or we can schedule this report. So downloading the report is very basic, right? As soon as you will click on download, now you have the options of different formats of file that you can use to download this file and then you can uh, send it to your client or uh, anyone who you want, right? So this is what you can do from here. You can save this report. So let me save this report and let us uh, keep this name over here and we'll click on save, right? So now our report is saved and where we are going to access this. So if you come back over here and if you go back to these reports option over here and if we go to reports, you can see within this report, now we have this thing over here like your saved reports and it was created on this date and last access on this date and range time. So if you want to control the range of this report, right? If you want to see only 30 days data within this report, then also you can do that thing like last 30 days and you can simply click on save. Now this, um, this report contains data of last 30 days, right? So this is how this report actually works. You can select it and you can add it to dashboard or you can remove it from here. So whenever you will open this report, it will contain the data of last 30 days with all the dimensions and matrices that you have selected over here in this in these rows and columns respectively right so we have these these informations over here and this information is from last 30 days so it's kind of dynamic so whenever you are looking to study this thing you just you just simply come to this report and you will see the analysis over here right no need to again and again do the settings no need to again and again download something right if you want to download you can you can basically download from here but whatever the settings you have mentioned over here, right? So whatever the settings with regards to your date range you have entered over here, it would be, it will be like automatically updated. So whenever you are coming over here and you are clicking over whatever the data you are seeing, it is basically the updated data from last 30 days, right? So this is how it is going to work. Now coming back to our report. Now, if we want to schedule this report, right? If you want to schedule and if you want to send it to your client regularly. So if you have some frequency of sending, then also you can do this thing like if you want to send this report to this particular fellow right you can select this thing and then you have a, like option over here that when when you actually want to schedule this you want to schedule it only once or you want to uh, do the monthly reporting or if you want to like uh, do it on all days all weekdays so this these are the different options that you have over here with regards to the schedule feature which they have given you right so this is how this reporting feature works and uh, what I will recommend you to never basically include very complicated matrices or data over here that those data will basically confuse clients. So whenever you are preparing reports for the client, always prepare basic report, right? Like on what parameters, what they actually want to see on what parameters, what they, what the results they want to study, right? So this is the only information that you should put in your report. And it should keep updating, which is again a good feature of the reporting over here. It is not static. Like if you have selected this thing over here, it will remain like this one. I mean, if anyone is coming tomorrow, this data will be updated. So if anyone is coming day after tomorrow on this particular report, this again data will be, this is how the reports feature also works. So as I told you, there are different predefined reports also, which I will not recommend you. If you are a beginner, I'll always suggest you to go with the custom, right? So then we have other options also. Suppose if we go to pie chart. And within pie chart, what we can study is that uh, gender wise, gender wise, how much conversions we got, right? So what we can do is basically we can select gender over here. Okay, we can select gender over here. Let's select gender. So male, female and undetermined. And then over here, we can select conversions. Okay, we can select conversions. So we'll be seeing uh, gender wise conversions over here. Right now, we do not have data in this dummy account, in this uh, practice account, our practice account. That is why we are not seeing anything over here. Otherwise, we would have been seeing like genders and then conversions, right? So that's it. That's how we basically prepare report. That's how we download. That's how we schedule our report. And that's how we answer different questions of our clients. 
so we are basically going to talk about the dashboards the report dashboards so uh, let me show you first where we can see this option so as soon as you are coming over here as you can see i am moving to uh, this report section over here you can see this dashboard option is present over here under this report section right so uh, we can create different dashboards over here for our clients also and let me tell you the basic definition of dashboard dashboard is basically collection of different kind of reports so whatever reports you are creating whatever reports you are devising you can use those reports into your dashboard and your dashboard will become a collection of different kind of reports right so how can we do this thing is basically uh, we have to assume one case so here we are going to create a very small dashboard just to make you understand that uh, how this actually works so as you can see on my laptop screen i am going to create a dashboard for the client of the data which is of last 30 days and it will include all conversions it will include campaigns ad groups ads and phone calls kind of uh, report which we already created so this report we already created this report right so this is what we are going to include in our dashboard and then we are going to include conversions with regards to mobile and desktop we can say that conversion that we got from mobile or desktop so these three different reports this we can assume it as like first report where we are going to study all the conversions which happened and then in the second report we are going to study the number of phone calls that we got uh, according to the campus ad groups and ads which campaign which ad group and which ad got us highest number of phone calls that that's what we uh, did in last video also and then we are going to study conversions with regards to mobiles and desktop so this is what we are going to study so let's begin and create one dashboard right so let's come to report and we will go to dashboard so first of all what we have to do is uh, we have to name our dashboard right so we'll click on new dashboard we also have sample dashboards but i'll not go to that part right now because we need to learn from the very scratch so let me write one name over here like uh, demo dashboard and you can also include your description which will be related to your dashboard that uh, what kind of information this dashboard contains so for the descriptions what we can do is basically we can select all these things and we can put over here right so right now i am leaving it blank as it is optional one so the thing which is important is a dashboard name that i have already given and it is up to us that whether we want to include the description or not so if you have different different dashboards and if you are working in team settings and if other people get confused or what this dashboard is all about in that particular case it is required that you should go for this description option over here otherwise we can leave it blank if you, if you are working as freelancer or you are the only one who is basically managing this uh, thing right what we are going to do is as soon as we click over here now we have four options over here we can put the note over here like this is a demo report that is what i am going to put over here and this will be included over here we can insert a scorecard that will uh, carry the information of last 30 days and this will carry the information which is related to uh, conversions right so i'll select all conversions over here and this will be included now right so i'll click on this thing and now we have different uh, views option over here that uh, what views we want to show over here we can select park lines chart we can select percentage chase uh, we can select absolute change but here we are going to select park line chart so now this is again a very small report and this contains the information of all conversions last 30 days okay we can write last 30 days now you can see we have one uh, report over here now we can customize this report since we haven't got any conversions in the last 30 days it is showing like this okay so we can customize it so we can put it anywhere wherever we want right so this is how we are going to do this so now all conversions scorecard is created over here the second report that we have to include in our dashboard is one which we already created right so this thing we can also do and we have two options over here either we can create a new table right or we can basically select the previous one so for now what we are going to do is we are going to select the previous one and then we can click on next and if we want to uh, rename it we can rename it or we can go along with the name or we can go with the name which is given over there now here you can see we have this report over here now we have to adjust this report that way where, where this report is going to look decent right so this is what we have to do basically now we are going to include our third small report over here which is like conversions so we have to include conversions from mobile and desktop right we are going to click on this plus and from this thing uh, we can select any other chart type also and we can create a new chart over here and we can click on next and we can create a chart over here right 
so we have different options over here for creating the chart i will go with the pie chart and we will select like device over here first we will select the device and then we will select uh, uh, we will select the device first and then we will select that conversions right uh, what number of conversions we got from what uh, device right so now this is done and what we can do is we can add to dashboard and this is like device plus conversion report so it is up to you how you name this report device plus conversion report and we can click on this save now it is again added to our dashboard okay so we'll click on add and it is now added to our dashboard so we have to organize this thing according to the layout so that it looks decent now what we can do is we can go ahead and save this report also this dashboard also which is basically a collection of report and then again we have the options of like refreshing this because it is live so as soon as the changes are there in your campaigns or your in your account you will be seeing the changes over here also because it's a live dashboard right now what we can do is we can also download this thing so if we also want to schedule it for our agency that is what we can also do and if we want to schedule it for our clients that is again the thing which we can do so i believe you got to know how can we actually create reports for our clients or for our in-house team and what are the differences between the reports which is created for the clients and the report which is created for uh, like in-house team for the optimization and and deciding further course of action so uh, that's it that's it for this specific video another very important thing that you have to make sure that it looks decent so you have to arrange this thing i've just shown you how can you actually create a dashboard what are the different settings involved in that and how it actually looks like right you have to organize it to uh, to present in front of anyone so that's it for this specific video see you in the next video till then goodbye